What's today? Today is Friday. But what are we, what are we doing on Friday? F Friday. It's foam gone. Who are you? What's your group? I'm Captain Slug. I sell, I sell Nerf. What I you got? I, I, shoot, I shoot fast Nerf. I have, I have, I have springs for Nerf. I have, I have parts for Nerf. I have small tubes for Nerf. It does multiple kinds of Nerf. I have more springs for Nerf. These are too long. I cut them in half. I have bits and bobs for Nerf. I have funny tool for Nerf. I have tube for Nerf. I have uncomfortable rods for Nerf. I have aluminum for Nerf. I have even more tubes for Nerf. All the Nerf you want. Where can people find you? Etsy. What Etsy? My Etsy. Thanks for Give me money. Who are you? What's your booth? Um, I'm Adriana. This is Foam Blast and the Foam Blast booth. And here we are at the Foam Blast booth. Uh, we have special edition Fang motors, Fang revamped motors. They have a nice. Uh, in war logo and pretty black and beautiful. We have t shirts, we have patches, we have free goodies like screwdrivers and chapsticks and sunglasses. And we also have a very fun game here where you shoot at targets and you get high scores and you win prizes and everything is great. Where can they find you? Phoneblastshop.com. Hey, I'm Luke with Outer Darts. Uh, this year I've got a lot of really cool projects that I'm excited about. This is Jupiter. It is our new pistol-fed uh, secondary. It's a rival blaster. It's the smallest rival blaster that's out there. It uh, has a full auto. <laughs> or you can get off single shots. Reasonably well, anyway. Uh, this year I also have a book coming out in October. It'll be in all major bookstores and on Amazon. It's a Nerf mod guide book. I'm really excited to share that with everybody. And it's been a long time in the making. Uh, what I'm about the Proton Pack? Proton Pack is also coming. Uh, probably by about the end of August, I'm looking at having DIY kits that will have the Proton Pack uh, feed mechanism that I've designed. This is that same Jupiter Blaster with the Proton Pack going in. This is my HVZ primary this year. It is a literal dart hose. <laughs> and uh, I'm so excited for this year. There's a lot of cool stuff coming and more expansion on this Jupiter platform as well. Where can they find you? Outofdarts.com and a new, completely new web store coming soon. Who are you? What's your uh, My name is Ep Epic Whale. I'm from, Ep uh, you can find me on Etsy on Epic Whale. Uh, what I basically do is all the ultrasonic stuff with his brushless motors. Uh, I basically do it in the U.S. because he's over in New Zealand enjoying all the fun sun. So what I basically have right here is a uh, regulator. This has an 8.7 crush. This has a 4S battery in it with uh, the select fire still intact and a speed controller in there. So now I'll fire a demo off. So we'll go with the we'll go with the three round burst. And it has the and it has the voltmeter right in the back there for you to see what, what your charge is. So that's on uh, 4S. This guy over here is uh, the little little basset child that basically open fly open flywheel project cage of uh, 4.41.5. Uh, Neo Rhino motors and CC Cyclone flywheels. It also the same thing. It keeps a select fire, and this one's running off of a, a 3S. You can basically hear the difference there. Um, I have over here. I have uh, 4S motor covers, uh, 3S motor covers, and 2S motor covers. Uh, brushless strife here with the speed controller up in the 
up in the jam door location so it can almost look like stock except for the, the battery cover because you want to put a big boy in there. Uh, a Raven Fire, also brushless. This is the internals of what uh, a brushless would look like. This is a kit, basically to save some money. So if you don't want to buy the whole kit, I mean the, the whole product, you just buy the kit and put it in your stripe yourself. Um, and these are cages, these right here are for the rapid strike. The wheels are for rapid strike or for strife. You got four different versions, depends on how much you like your dots. Uh, these are Raven Fire, Raven Fire wheels. And then these are the, the barrels, which helps uh, reduce the air, um, the air from restricting on how the dots come out. And that's pretty much it. Where can they find you? Oh, they can find me on Etsy and it's on Epic Whale. Hello, this is Heston Systems. I'm Jay Mom on Discord, and we make beautiful hand milled uh, or hand CNC milled aluminum cages. So yeah, we've got the Delrin wheels. We've got your uh, brush. Comes with um, comes with a Jolly Rancher, of course, and also comes with screws. And uh, this is iteration one. This is the Typhoon version one. We are right now in research and development for version two, which will have some changes and some upgrades and different things. So uh, yeah, that. Where are you going to find us? Uh, HestonSystems.com, and we're also on Facebook. Hey, I'm Jonathan. This is Blaster Core. Also with Sean. Yep. Anyway, so just like last year, we're back with the Rev 1. We've improved a heck of a lot from last year, making it much, much cleaner. We're showing off both the uh, fully integrated system, where you're just revving off of the Strife and its rev trigger, and as popular as heck, putting it on the most awful blaster we could find at the moment, and, uh, you know, externally. And then, of course, we're rolling into our new year. We have to start with something brand new from scratch. This is the Blast Core Afterburner Rev 2. You want to shoot that? Heck yeah. So unlike last year, which is a brush system, this is brushless, ultra strife internal, so 3,000 kilovolt motors. I have it clocked earlier at 169 FPS on around 170. Ooh, do that again. Uh, I'm going to aim at the balcony. Wow. Uh-oh, back. <laughs> My bad. Uh, so this will be the Rev 2. Um, it's, you know, it's not quite done yet. It's still pretty rough, but just like last year, we're going to come back with a much cleaner and better version on our store. You can find us on Facebook at Facebook slash BlasterCore Co. Or you can find on find us on Etsy at Etsy.com slash BlasterCore. My name is Ryan. I'm from Silver Fox Industries, and um, this is my booth. I sell uh, resin cast hammer shot parts. Uh, sweet Revenge parts, I do 3D printing, uh, and I just like to mod. What are these? Uh, these are free. They're just wristbands. Uh, we got patches, uh, shirts, and um, yeah. That's uh, on Facebook and uh, silverfoxindustries.shop. Hi, my name is Brian, and I'm here with Geek Tog, taking pictures of this event. Uh, I would say my specialty is I'm doing these epic portraits. I'm a professional photographer, so I thought I would bring it to the nerfing community. So we do some fun special effects with like smoke and probably with some rain tonight because it's going to be downpouring. So yeah, just taking some cool portraits of people with their nerf gear and their loadouts. And where can people find you? On at Geek Tog on Facebook or Instagram. G E E K T O G. I am. Use Searing Phoenix from our nerf, and my booth is fancy things. You can also complain about Reddit in general, or our nerf specifically. Things that we have. Um, we've got uh, a green stripe that was for my friend Renwar last year, a red Jin Urso, uh, both running 180s from my friend from Enwar last year. These are borrowed, they're theirs. Um, we have Eidolon, which is a blaster that people have seen, um, and its companion Eschaton which is PSP parts and fancy things. Uh, Ascendant Paragon, which is an Exus with a cool see-through see -through, uh, bit into the uh, breech so you can see it working. It's like 14 kilos and it likes to blow the heads off of worker darts. That seems to be what it mostly does. New this year is Hugin's Claw. Uh, this is 10 blasters. Um, we have a Cyclone Shock, a Centurion, Alpha Hawk, Hyperfire, Strife, um, BSP, Rapid Strike, Flared Magwell, uh, Rough Cut, Long Shot, More Rough Cut, 
rapid strike, more rapid strike, more hyper fire, and a Zeus and a Raven, and it and it's great. Um, but it hasn't been chronoed yet, so hopefully it's under 130. Fingers crossed. Other than that, uh, last one. This was a commission my friend had for a steampunk convention. It just looks cool. But other than that, it's a it's a sling fire thing. And where do people find you? I'm on our nerf. Feel free to complain, message the moderators, or don't. YouTubers. Who are you? What's your boot? Do you make the Minecraft video? Do you? I have a son who makes the Minecraft video. He has two to subscribers. What, what, what is this? What is this? Yeah. Uh, it's MTV. I'm going to film you while you're filming me. <laughs> is that Bobo? Is that... I went to his booth and he wasn't there. No. Like a Bobo is a smock. It's confirmed. So what, what do you got? What do you got? We what got, are you doing? What are you we, doing? Got, we got stickers. I got stickers. We got more stickers. We got a YouTube banner because that was a super last minute thing. Bobo should leave a comment. Bobo, leave a comment right now on camera live. Leave that comment. Ooh, ooh. Oh, he, he's, going, he's doing something artistic. I don't know what he's doing. I can't see it. I'm giving you play-by-play. His hands moving up and down. Mom's spaghetti. Hands are sweaty. What is it? What's he doing? What's he doing? I'm going to see it. Hang on, hang on. It is. Oh, he just put his name. That's boring. Just uh, if I put it in your mouth, will you sign it again? Sure. I didn't say what I put it in your mouth. Oh boy. Where can people find you? MTV. Dot, no, that's not right. <laughs> YouTube.com slash MTV. I just spit in your face. I'm sorry Wait, about that. Slash MTV. YouTube.com slash Make Test Battle. Facebook.com slash Make Test Battle. Patreon.com slash Make Test Battle. Make Test Battle. Who are you? What's your booth? What's my booth? Okay, this is Women of Nerf. I'm sorry if I spiked on your microphone. So, Women of Nerf is a online community, predominantly Facebook at the moment. We are less than a year old and we already have 145 members worldwide. Uh, this is kind of our way in giving back to the community. We are a non-for-profit organization. Uh, we are donating all of these things to the Suicide Prevention Hotline. You can buy a raffle ticket or if you like us on Facebook, you get your first raffle ticket for free. Uh, some of our vendors are Apex Tactical Solutions, we got Foam Blast, we got Monkey Tron, uh, my girlfriend. It, it, we've been having such a blast. Judah did this uh, canvas completely hand drawn in literally five minutes. Uh, and it's been a really good time. And you all should get raffle tickets because, yeah, you'll find us on Facebook. Uh, find us under hashtag WeAreOne or you just type in Women of Nerf. Look for the skull. That's us. Yep. Hey, what's up, everybody? Fowler here from Blown on Nerf. Right here, you can find me on YouTube or Facebook, Blown on Nerf. This year I brought Helga, because Helga is hungry. It's my late night Nerf mod. Just threw a sling fire uh, stock on a monorail, Busby monorail here, stock blaster. We are giving away free rival rounds again this year. Go ahead and spin to win. You could potentially win a prize. We've got a, oh, he won! Oh my gosh, Bobo won! Do I open this? You open it. <laughs> Let's see what he won. What did he win? Huh? Huh. What did he win? Huh. Huh. One hand is hard. Foam Blast, Mag Release, and Rev Trigger. Yes. <laughs> it's like I made the Rev Trigger. <laughs> he won his own design. There yeah. you go. All so right, what so what, what else we got? We're doing a St. Jude raffle again this year. We built a Strife and a Retaliator to give away. This is a St. Jude Strife. It has a 42 millimeter uh, Morpheus cage in it, Fang revamp motors, Bulldog flywheels, and a full rewire. I've got the Girlfriend's Mermaid Strife here, pretty much the same build as the St. Jude Strife, so pretty cool. And then we've got the Retaliator here. It's got a five kilogram upgraded spring and a Gavin Fuzzy pump kit. And last but not least, I brought my dueling set. So if anybody wants to duel, feel free to duel. Uh, pretty much the only thing done to that is I've painted it up in a late color scheme and uh, broke the dart pegs out of it so you can fire Stefan's out of it and ram them, rot them down. So that's pretty much it. Oh, there's more. Okay. Yeah. And where so. can people find you? Blown on Earth, uh, YouTube slash Blown on Earth or Facebook Blown on Earth. I am Naptown Nerf. This is the booth. <laughs> so we got lots and lots of blasters, obviously. Sub Zero, Stardust, Zombie Dust. Blue Stinger, Logan, Devil's Wing, my Punisher, Kronos there, Jill's Hydra Dip Blaster there, and then we got some stuff for auction up here. 
It's pretty cool. Lots of hydro dip stuff. Really, really cool. And then, oh, we got a, we got Sad Frog and my newest blaster, Typhon, which is almost working. <laughs> it's working soon, working soon. Check out the channel, Naptown Nerf, uh, for the build video soon. So. Can they find you anywhere else? I'm on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Patreon. <laughs> Uh, hi, my name is Scott Rocca. I'm with uh, STL 3DP, a uh, uh, St. Louis based uh, company. And we uh, will print just about anything for you, uh, large scale or small scale. Uh, the thing that I uh, brought to uh, FoamCon this year was a, uh, a full auto mega blaster that I'm working on that I didn't quite get done because I was focused on the big fella here. So, this is our first generation uh, shootable target. So, everything is magnetized in and you can break it all down. Uh, we will uh, be selling these here in about a month or so. Uh, we have a few tweaks just based on the response we've been getting that we want to fix. Uh, the biggest one is that we're going to add uh, some lights and sound to the inside, so when it's hit, it will light up. Uh, you can find us at uh, stl3dp.com, uh, or if you're in the St. Louis area, uh, we host uh, 3D printer meetups, and come and check us out there. Thank you. Hi, what are we doing? I, I'm I'm uh, Rob and this is my booth and I make weird stupid shit. stuff like this stuff inside of things and uh, what we're doing DVDs are five bucks and everyone who buys one gets a chance to win this shit. there's not a whole lot of stuff in here so like anyone can only put one dart in there and we're gonna draw it at the end of the day and uh, just selling my stuff that's uh, that's it my name is Vladimir I make amazing Nerf blasters. All right, going from like up to down, we got some sleepers over here running Neo Fangs with uh, Insutanto wheels, OFP cage. We got the first one of the Cosmic Nuts. This is a uh, hydro dipped uh, hammer shot with some custom vinyl. We got the Scion of the Dark Lord, a kick ass strife with some hooligan parts with uh, Fang motors in there. And of course, complimentary uh, erectile use only sticker. We got the Chun Chun Maru, which is a meme from an anime. Don't worry about it. It's really, really hot. Ah ha ha ha. Uh, custom vinyl, hydro dip, the whole nine yards. We got Unicorn Tears, a hand painted by an actual artist as opposed to by me. Strife running fangs and uh, containment crew wheels in a brass red cage. And then the, the star of the show today, the Tuxedo Mask, a hydro dipped white scar kit uh, running a version 3.6 select fire kit from um, light take yeah we got like the monkey mods uh, silencer flash hider dealio full metal and uh, we're waiting on getting our super secret cage to put in here and where can people find you you can find me at youtube.com slash vlad the nerf nico or for a uh, shorter url just tinyurl.com slash sub to Vlad. I'm Clowny Nerf, and this is my booth. Uh, I'm sharing with Vlad, who keeps disappearing. He's over here now. Every time I look, it's another Vlad. What do you got? What do you got? What do you got? I got um, three pictures once again for charity auction. Uh, that's a bunch of people sign them. Bobo hasn't signed them yet. No, he's going to do that as soon as he's done here because I called him out on it. But they're going to St. Jude this year. Uh, so I got a ton of them, four o'clock. Everybody's going to get one. You get a chance to get them. Just the same deal as last year. It's all just really, really cool and stuff. That's all I got. <laughs> Where can people find you? ClownyNerf.com. They're going to find me there. And product placement. Yeah. <laughs> I love Vistaprint. Hi, this is 3D Printed Solid. Uh, we're from Eastern Pennsylvania. My husband designs everything on the computer and prints them out. He has seven printers uh, running 24-7, seven days a week. Any kind of color, uh, custom design, uh, just email us at 3dps at 3dprintedsolid.com. I'm Evan Williams with uh, Foam Freaks Turf Blaster Springs USA. Uh, our booth, we, get, we do uh, modified recons with kits, Retalicons colored as normal, the best in the US, and page with uh, brass breech long shots any style you like you name it we got it any spring you want you name it we got it we got our brand new 
Pro 26, got to get one. It's going to last longer than your K26. We can't do everything at Foam Freak, so sometimes we uh, outsource. Uh, Valor Blasters was kind enough to build us a really great 3D printed stock for our cut down stampede. We got a Terran 3D front end. Um, and today only, we are giving this away to one lucky raffle winner at 3.30 p.m. But you won't see this, you'll be too late and somebody will be enjoying that. But I'll make you another one if you call me. Evan Williams, Foam Freaks. Where can people find you? Foam Freak, www.foamfreaks.com. I'm Grihas and this is Grihas Gear. We do 3D printing, we do vinyl decals, we do custom t-shirts. Ooh. So we have Strife covers, we've got Endware exclusive windowed covers. We've got Kronos Grips, we've got Strife Battery Doors, we've got Kronos Jam Doors, we've got Rapid Strike Flared Magwells, Bobo Lolo style triggers for the Rapid Strike, and some mag releases for the Rapid Strike, as well as vinyl decals. It would help if they were actually the right way, but haha! And I've just completely messed them up. And then we also have our awesome keychains. Make it rain in keychains. And, and buttons that are free to take for a Bobo Lolo, as well as a Bobo Lolo sticker that was randomly deposited. I'm not sure how that got here. Um, on our stand, we've got our demonstration blasters, our Kronos, Strife, and Rapid Strike. And on the side, we've got our secret Santa Desolator from Containment Crew Charles, and the giveaway Caliburn from S Captain Slug. Ooh. Where can people find you? Where can people find us? On our Etsy. Right here. Ooh. Or you can put it back in the stand and... I'm Alice Kotuk and this is my crap. So this is probably going to be an exclusive for you because I haven't actually talked about it yet. But this is a Rapid Strike uh, painted for me by Foam Data Services. So I actually did a video where I did all the shell work a while back and I sent it off and... Uh, he sent this back to me about a month and a half ago with all of this paint, and it is gorgeous. I, I love it. It's actually based on one of my favorite Rapid Strike builds, uh, Tom's Candy Strike. This is Doku. This is just a real nice stripe that I did up uh, with, um, it's actually a custom color of paint uh, that I had made up for me at an automotive store. Uh, and then 2K over all that, uh, and then full LED work. So this, uh, is the Gaven. It is, um, it's an RGB fully addressable uh, Raven fire. Uh, and so it's got, I think, like 30 or so LEDs in there. Um, and they are uh, all wired up to an Arduino. So uh, when you do stuff like when you uh, rev it, the lighting speeds up. And then When you drop the mag, if I can, there we go. It uh, flashes red to let you know you're empty. Um, and uh, this is what I'll be running tomorrow for uh, for the game. And I love it. It's my baby. Sure. So this is a rapid pistol that I had last year, but uh, this year I have finished all the wiring, but I forgot to, okay, I didn't forget. I didn't have time to, to finish up the display. So it is fully select fire. It just doesn't have a selector switch. So it's just full auto right now. Um, but uh, yeah, um, it came out really well. I'm really happy with this. It's just a full rapid pistol kit that I designed. Uh, YouTube.com slash Alice dash Kotuk. Hey, uh, my name is Aramek or Chris, depending on how well you know me. My booth is homemades and other kind of oddities in the HVZ community. Idea here is I have a homemade which has been basically turned into a blunderbuss shotgun. So even though you have a homemade, it's still HVZ legal in terms of energies. Here I have a stampede. This is actually going to be my main blaster that I've turned oh. into a BAR looking blaster a la Battlefield 1. So this weighs about eight pounds, double spring, three S in the back, and it kicks ass. So you'll see it tonight. Anything else you want to talk about? Um, 
Not too much. I don't do a lot of um, mass-produced work. A lot of the stuff I do is commission-based. So if you have anything weird, give me a call. Where can they find you? Uh, you can find me at YouTube at Aeromech. They can find me Facebook Aeromech. They can find me Instagram Aeromech Blasters. Thank you. Hi, I'm Armod74. Uh, here I am showing off a lot of my custom blasters. So I brought a little bit of everything here today. I got completely overhauled blasters, hydro dipped blasters. I have some custom 3D printing that I'm working on. I just got a larger printer. So uh, that's basically like a knockoff worker stock. And then uh, for a lot of my blasters, what I've been doing is sort of this filled worker stock, which basically allows you to house a lot of extra uh, electronics and a larger room for the battery than just housing it right in here. So I'm working on a design for that that would basically uh, it expands the gap by about two and a half inches. So it gives you tons of room. You can shove whatever electronics and batteries you pretty much want in there. Gives you a lot of liberty. Uh, here I have some work in progress stuff. That's my original stry shot. Uh, and then this was actually prism, but I had a slight hairline crack from going home last year. So I sanded it all down. I'm doing a little corrective body work. Uh, touching up a few areas that I wasn't quite happy with, but I uh, wasn't ready. I'll probably do one of those stocks as well, just sort of to match it, sort of similar to on this side I made a uh, motor cover that sort of matches the aesthetic of the blaster. So I'm probably going to do the same thing with the stock. Uh, that's not quite done yet. Uh, Diva Kronos, which I just started, uh, and then just a bunch of stickers and business cards and candy if you want any of that sort of stuff. Uh, Armod74 on YouTube, Instagram, Thingiverse, pretty much anywhere that people post Nerf blasters. I'm Mr. Nathan. This is a, a series of integrations that I've been working on in chronological order, more or less. Some of my early projects that I have just for display. The Hellhound that uh, was the Merch Masters winner from the Reddit competition. That's kind of the one that got me noticed. This is an on-again, off-again project that uh, I, might, uh, I might part with today if somebody likes it enough. These two are a um, Centurion Strife integration pair. It's a his and her set for a, a client. <laughs> That uh, this one is actually featured on my model on on my channel. This one will be featured later afterwards because they're similar enough that I didn't want to create confusion for people. This is the Jackal. It's a um, Strife Raven integration, kind of a not a, not a Straven, but it's uh, technically the same combination of parts with a few other odds and ends of things. This is the uh, Yellow Jacket, which is a basically a different spin on the old rough cut long stripe barrel Raven combination, but it's actually physically shell integrated, not just stuck rail to rail. This is a new integration for a client that's uh, kind of a stry shot, basically, but I've shortened the front of the, the long shot a little bit, added a cross bolt stock. It's going to be flat topped, and I'm not sure what else quite yet. This rapid strike is a more conservative build that uh, is actually the first time I've shown it anywhere. That's going to get painted, and uh, I can't talk about it too much because it's kind of a special project, but you'll be seeing later on it about it on the channel. So Where can people find you? You can find me on uh, YouTube, Facebook, and Instagram and stuff. And if you just shine on that sign right in front there, it's got all my pertinent information. Hi, my name is Zimbona Machine. This year at FoamCon, I'm featuring my mod of the year, the Nemesito. And I'm auctioning off this Nerf battle chest of darts. Painstakingly took hours to arrange in the most aesthetic, stop it. And I have uh, some modified Kronos for sale as well. K26 Grihas grip and comes with balls. Uh, I've got a worker swordfish here with the kit and a uh, modified worker, modified desolator with the uh, 3D printed stuff on Etsy. I've got Foam Data Services' beautiful Galaxy M6. And then my Secret Santa Christmas gift from Mr. Nathan himself. People can find me on the field as a moderator. Uh, I guess I have a channel, it's called Zambona Machine. I have fun, I don't make a lot of videos. Hi Bubba Lolo, I'm Thomas from Containment Crew. Yay! We've got a long boothy boy here for you. Look how long it goes. All right, I guess you want to start and do what you did last year? Yeah, sure. All right, cool, we got mag releases and Bobo Lolo. Bobo Lolo. Style rep triggers here. Uh, Foam Blast mag releases are mag releases. There's still a couple left. Those are beautiful custom aluminum mag releases that our machinists made. Very special only for FoamCon. Uh, you know, all our standard connectors and electronic bits, cages. Yeah, you can go ahead and just 
don't defile them. But uh, we do have our uh, NWAR exclusive Cyclones. So we got plenty of 3D printed parts, anything from what you need for Stripes, motors, you know. We do have some of our brand new uh, ProFit springs for the Kronos, uh, specifically designed exactly for that blaster. We've got more motors. We've got the, uh, the Out of Darts Instanto flywheels, wire, heat shrink. We're showing off a couple of special pieces, like this uh, is a custom metal battery door that our machinist made with a custom metal release. And hiding inside of here, we can now finally talk about it, is our uh, proto prototype, prototype, <laughs> prototype metal flywheel cage coming in 42 millimeter spacing. I've known about this. He has known about it for a while. He lies. There's actually one to show off out over here. We'll go ahead and pop on over there. Inside of this swordfish kit, we'll get you a good look at it. Bobo can get you a better review if he uh, makes more videos. Oh, look at that thumbs down. Ouch. So uh, we do have that off the show. We're asking for people actually to give their feedback on it. We'd like to hear from you, really. Um, yeah, look, there's all the specs. Precision milled from aluminum right in New York. 42 millimeter flywheel spacing. It's capable of accepting brushless motors, 130s, 180s, whatever you've got. Uh, it will accept flywheels up to 36 millimeters, so more than just you know cyclones, blast parts. That they'll all fit. Uh, we have this swordfish kit that we are raffling off today. It does have one of the very exclusive end war uh, exclusive containment cages. Yep, in a 43 millimeter spacing. They sold that in 36 minutes. 36 minutes and they were all gone. Yeah, uh, nobody can see the pouty face on Bobo, but he's uh, he's really sad Where he didn't get one. Oh, they can find us at containmentcrew.com. Where can we find you? Around. He's around. Uh, that doesn't sound good. I'm Hawkeye007. I run Black Steel Props. I'm selling things. I have things that to look at. I have heavy metal. This one is manual milled. A lot of people com compliment me by saying, oh, it's a uh, CNC machine. It's not, it's manual. So it's super heavy, but I can't, I can't prime that all day anyway, so I might as well make it unwieldable to everyone. HPA stuff, normally people are kind of on the fence about HPA. They fire that twice and they're like, okay, I can, I can, I can deal with that. Um, yeah, sledge fire handle scales, hammer shot handle scales. Those seem to be the, the two most popular ones, so. Giant darts, these are now a thing. And uh, where are you going to find you? Hawkeye007, look it up on YouTube, you'll find it. Hello, I'm Philip Sweeting, I am Open Flywheel Project. I'm here being interviewed by Bobo. I have a variety of flywheel cages with aluminum inserts. I have next generation, full enclosed, entirely printed cages. And I have new non-dark destroying eclipse cages, which Bobo is not going to steal because he's on camera. I have some other miscellaneous stuff. This is my uh, revised forward justified katana adapter, which is really awesome and shoots uh, workers as far as Chris's double rainbow. Uh, I also have some paintball pod holders for rival and nemesis and uh, funnels for your funnels for the nemesis. Uh, on openflywheelproject.com or in the far corner of the auditorium at FoamCon. Uh, I'm Big Al, I'm part of Monkstrong Collective, all the way here from Scotland in the UK today. Uh, we brought with us a selection of blasters to show off and uh, we're promoting the Britain North community. Uh, Monkstrong Collective, uh, we're part of the Britain North community in the UK. Uh, we're also part of Team Foam Dark Thunder in the UK, and we run the biggest Nerf events in the UK right now. My favourite blaster that's here today is uh, my Swordfish. So this is a Tartan Hydro Drip Swordfish with uh, LED goodness. <laughs> yeah, just can't believe we're here, very excited. Thanks to the guys for inviting us over, and great to meet everyone that's here. They can find us on Facebook, Monkstron Collective, Instagram, and on YouTube. Uh, we'll do wall videos, reviews, builds, all sorts of stuff on there. Also check out Foam Dark Thunder, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook as well. They do the best enough events ever. Not that I'm biased, but I am. <laughs> hey, this is Jesse from Project FTL. These is, this is our booth. Uh, we make, we 3D print and design brushless, fully bespoke custom blasters. 
They are uh, select fire, full auto, all the good stuff. Which one's your favorite that you have here? Mine, of course. All right, so we've gotten into doing LEDs. Fancy. Whoa. For real, though, I really like the splatter one, too. Right. That's exactly the one that I picked up right here. Ooh, wow. Uh, you can find us on projectfdl.com or Project FDL on Facebook or Project FDL on Instagram, too. Hi, I'm Jake, or Hogwarts. I run Reciprocation Props. This is my booth at FoamCon. I make long shot and strife parts and katana mag holders. Because why not? Uh, there are, I haven't seen anyone else making them, so at the SCNC War a couple weeks back, a friend and I, uh, Master Chef, he's running around somewhere out here, came up with the idea of super small printed mag holders. And that night, got to work, and now these are a thing. Making some flashlight holders for Project FDL, just ran off a sling point for Luke of Out of Darts. What are these? Those are lipless sleeper breeches. A couple of them are prototypes. This is the original prototype. This is just a bolt cup version. And that is my final version, almost ready to be tested. That one just doesn't have a high enough infill. That is a long shot rail. It fills the front section where it's just kind of a sling point, And that extends back to the original carry handle where you slide on a converter. So you can have a full-length Picatinny rail without having to chop up your top handle. You can find me on Etsy, Instagram, and Facebook at Reciprocation Props. Uh, my name is Milan. I'm Devil Snowflakes from Germany. Flew all the f***ing way over here. All right, this is my booth. This one's built by Vela. I'll talk about that later. This one's up for silent auction here. High speed is way too little right now. All this shit glow in the dark. This is my Masada kit. Uh, comes with the front, stock separate, adjustable, clicks into place. Worker buffer tube because I can't beat injection molded. Cheap enough. Aluminum barrels, right here. Orange tip, optional. Uh, I have battery doors and covers. Here you see the battery door. It has a bolt meter inside. I wired it so it turns on when you remove the mag. I have these here, I have some voltmeters and battery uh, motor covers. Snap right on, I'm not going to do that with here, that, here, snap right on. Just take a drop of super glue to fix that. Rectangular cutout on the back, so you can super easily drop a piece of polycarp in there. The seam is covered. Alright, balance blaster. I sent him a Vilsada kit a month ago maybe. All right. Um, he did some amazing work on it. It looks, looks in injection molded. Sent him a motor cover, battery door. He designed his own battery, uh, battery case anyway. What's your... Oh, it's right here. Select fire kit V6. Dr. Snickers cage and Neo Rhinos. This is the real sexy shit right here. Oh, I love that. <laughs> and some quality German engineering inside an American-made blaster. <laughs> oh, I have some oddball stuff, like barrel attachments, a double-strike turret. Let me show you a picture of that. You can find those on my Facebook. Uh, I have some magazine holders for Molly, like these. You can put Velcro on top for stupid patches like that. <laughs> and I have them for my belt. Snap on your belt. And I have a prototype here. A slimmer version, holds just as well. Just doesn't take as much space when you're not using it. And uh, where can people find you? People can find me on Facebook and on Etsy, preferably on Facebook. If you're German, call me on the blasted.de forum. They, those guys are better than the, than the American forums. No <laughs> favor. Uh, here's my sticker, Facebook, Etsy, Devil's Norfolk. You'll find me. Hi, I'm Drek of the SCNC, and this is FoamCon, and this booth is really just a way to distribute all of the official event merchandise, such as the t-shirts, the bandanas, which are free, the event patches. We still have a couple of patches from last year, 
and it's really just kind of like a small celebration of end war. I have some things that are new for me. I wanted to bring some new stuff, so Zuru is sponsoring our event. I'm using a Zuru Blaster as my primary. I brought Sanguine because I wanted to prove to people that I can make things that are nice, and I brought the prototype for my Nyx cage, which is currently live on Kickstarter. It's got a lot of really cool features. I mean, it, oh, man, it's, whoa, Bobo, 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 no, no Bobo, bad Bobo. Alrighty, so uh, all the features are pretty clearly explained on the Kickstarter page, but it's cheaper now on Kickstarter than it'll ever be before. And I hope you like it. It's the only black flywheel cage out there, which is pretty hot in and of itself. But uh, thanks for watching Bobo's video, and next year you should attend Endward. <laughs>